in india i live in delhi but oh. my roots are from punjab both of my parents are from punjab as you might have guessed from my name my name is sagandeep kaur and i am 20 years old i joined bs degree in data science a year after my 12th grade so yes i took a drop year it didn't go as planned i was quite demotivated so i came across this degree and it gave me a hope that yes i can study from one of the top institutes in india we have to prepare for qualifier sites so in that one month i got through uh, ct and maths one i mean i looked at the course and i think yeah it is good uh, the skills they teach uh, things the teachers uh, also i didn't realize the value of computational thinking till i reached python i mean i could even visualize right just because i took the course of computational thinking uh, it is some they give us some kind of pseudo code and tell us what is right what is wrong these kind of things all all way all uh, i have already been a ta for ct for uh, for may 2024 term and i am again planning to be a ta for and i am pursuing this degree as stand alone only though uh, we could pursue this as dual degree but i think the course in itself is very rigorous no sugar coating it it is good uh, the skills the teachers uh, it is good to land a stable job and even get the skills we need for some post graduation uh maths one was relatively okay for me but then came maths two <laughs> yeah it i mean i was very i uh there were some times when i couldn't even solve one question from activity questions <laughs> yeah i didn't have many resources at the time i initially joined the degree like it was second term so i uh, i don't think i even started using discourse at the time i uh, i used to search each and every question at chat gpt or uh, google these kind of things and it took a lot of time and i was uh, very exhausted after it but then uh, i saw these whatsapp groups i'm not promoting them they are not iitm official but they help students uh, we post a question some of them reply we can cross question them it really helped me uh, and then discourse also Uh, before this i didn't know how to use discourse and i didn't have the access to it but after i got my email id i was quite happy with that i could just search the questions and i would get answers then came the quizzes so for some students <laughs> quizzes might be a little uh, like we have one quiz for a month one quiz per month uh and some working professionals who are working professionals they don't want to uh, go each month to exam center and give quizzes and end term exam but for me it is a plus point because i don't have any pressure from any side i mean no one tells me that you have to study you have to study but when the quizzes come i mean i give the quiz i take one day break and then second day i realize okay next month we have quiz 2 i have to study again and then i got go through it so it worked as a uh, motivation point for me the quizzes uh, also these graded assignments and practice assignments they are well aligned with quizzes they really helped me i i have completed my both diplomas with a 9 cgp and 9.5 cgp in project so uh, these were the only things these were the only key secrets to my success that i did activity questions practice assignments quizzes uh, uh, i practiced quizzes like uh, we have some sets i practiced all the sets after the quiz uh, after i have completed my quiz i practiced all the sets uh, then uh, and i and i did that so i didn't even imagine i would be able to score this good marks even in qualifier I want to um, first I want to get a like stable job for some years then for my post graduation I am thinking to combine uh, data science with some other science field like um, maybe astrophysics I I really liked it astrophysics I kind of like these things I have been to paradox uh, last year I was there 
but and I also host research summit for 2024. I was the event deputy head for it. Uh, this year also I am planning to uh, participate in Paradox but not as an event coordinator as I would al- already have duties as a teaching assistant. Uh, so that's my journey. I was a TA for City Computational Thinking as that course really inspired me to think the way programmers think. So I was a TA in May 2024 term last year. And this time also, I am planning to be a TA for May 20 for CT. So friends, basically, I made when I was in Paradox. There are uh, some mostly are from North India only because I traveled with them in train. So I became their friend, uh, like from Haryana and uh, Delhi, these, uh, this, these states. Uh, and I also had, I also made some friends there was this whatsapp group for uh, just girls so i was quite comfortable there we used to talk and everything and i made friends there so but actually for me uh, getting in this program as a standalone student was not very difficult i mean i'm a quite shy i'm introvert kind of girl but uh, so that is why i don't make friends very easily and even if I don't make friends easily, I don't feel alone. <laughs> so it, it is fine for me. <laughs> yeah, projects, mad one, I enjoyed very much. Like it was very easy and I was, uh, it was the first project I did. So I gave my 100% to it. But then came mad two. I mean, I had to put, put double the amount of time. And uh, we had to write so much code, Java, JavaScript, Python, HTML. Uh, it was, I yeah it was very rigorous and uh, but it was very interesting also there were days that i only did math to project instead of preparing for my quizzes or end term it was fun to do that uh, then for bdm project uh, business data management i did uh, some i took some data from local uh, dairy shop after i took a data for a, uh, for some days then they said no we can't provide any more data so i had to work with that data only but still i got good marks at that uh, by doing some more research into it and deeping dive <coughs> sorry i'm a little cold um and then there was mlp yes mlp uh, i did last term only mlp i fin I did half, 50% of my uh, machine learning project in uh, in the uh, vacations we get. We get some time after end term, right? I did 50% of my project. Then uh, it was, I mean, I was getting very good accuracy for it. Some students were not even getting 0.61 and I was getting around 6.4. And I was happy that I have just completed 50% and I'm getting this. But then it was not even improving. After some time, it was not improving. I was uh, using uh, very good algorithms. I was doing uh, grid search, uh, search, randomized search and all these things, but it was not improving. So I said, okay, it's fine. Now, no need to worry. There will be ups and downs. It is good. 0.64 was good actually for last term. That is well. So projects were very interesting for, to me. Very, very interesting. Uh, and my favorite course was machine learning itself. The way Arun Rajkumar sir, professor, he teaches, it was great. I mean, uh, the course was quite tough, but it was, it uh, he made it seem very interesting and very easier. Machine learning was probably my favorite course. <laughs> Mostly, as I said, it was from quizzes that I knew that next term there will be a quiz again. <laughs> then again, it will be end term. <laughs> so I had to prepare for it. Then also, uh, in my 11th and 12th grade there was covid so there were mostly there were online classes only so i was in the routine of it i knew that i had to do it Uh, but in 11th my discipline was very uh, fluctuated and then slowly and steadily i maintained it there was a routine i consist i consistently followed it even though there were some days i didn't want to get up i didn't want to study uh, like I told you, maths two course, it it left me uh, like, what is going on? Can I even do this? But then it was fine. 
I mean, I I I, I laugh I laugh at my past self. That maths too was actually easier than what I am doing right now. And then I got through it with this mindset that yes, I can do that. Initially, I had to convince my father and mother, but uh, actually, in my family, my father and mother didn't go to any college, so they uh, these kind of decision they left to me. They said, "Yes, you can decide what you want to do, and it will be uh, we can advise, but it will be at last your decision only." So uh, as I got to this degree, they saw that I am getting good marks, and I even um, uh, showed them some of the projects. I showed there was this household service app. I see, I make this. They were quite happy with it. So they said, "Okay, it's good. You are doing good. It's good." 